Hi, my name is Bob Grinier, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So we are looking at around about the central region of the cathode from the Vega aluminium and aluminium experiments uh, that I helped record last weekend <laughs> with Henk Urin in his laboratory. And in this central area, you can see there are these features. Are they pits? Are they raised areas? Uh, this is to be determined. And we are looking at this around about 56 times magnification. And they're quite large and they're spaced and discrete, largely. Um, although um, there are some that are merged into each other, of course. Got like a zigzag down here. And the interesting thing is, if, if we move from the central area that was, I guess, opposite the anode, and we move down this way, you can see the nature of them changes. They kind of get smaller and smaller and smaller. And it would almost appear like they're going with maybe the grain of the brushed aluminium or the abrasion that Henk Uren used to maybe clean it off. And as we get to the edge here, a little out of focus, we'll get that back into focus. You can see they're much smaller down this end. And in fact, they kind of peter out. Okay, so they're still there, but uh, they are much smaller. And if we go back to the center where they are bigger, uh, somewhere here, you can see they're bigger here. I'm going to go left and right rather than up and down. Yeah, you can see they, they get smaller out towards the edge. In the center again, we've got big, and then we're going to go the other way. And in theory, they should get smaller towards the edge, which they do. Okay, although there's some big ones on the edge. And some, ah, this is a very interesting finding here. So on this edge, we are seeing a kind of gap where there isn't many formed. This, I think, will be very important later. Look, all the way down that edge, there is a lower density of them. Lower density. Even though just inside there appears to be a higher density. Okay, so but they are bigger the ones inside. Okay, so we're going to move that back to the center. So we're around here where there's plenty of them and they're big. Then we're going to move the other direction here. And again, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller until I can't really notice them much. Okay, so let's look at this central area and we can maybe zoom into some of these. Okay, and some of these look white and some of them are kind of black bits here. I don't know what they are. Around this area here. What are they? Yeah, some sort of more shiny blobs here. This is the virgin aluminium, I would imagine. This is maybe aluminium oxide or something, maybe silicon, if there's a proton being rammed in there, because this is the cathode, so bare protons would be attracted to it. And could that be making silicon? That would be interesting, wouldn't it? And what would be even more interesting than that would be if maybe these shiny bits are iron. But who can say? Let's go and have a look at this with a big, bigger magnification level. Um, what do we have? Okay. 
So I think this is a growth on the surface. So actually the original aluminium here are channels. Okay. And these probably most likely aluminium oxide. Most likely. But maybe not. Maybe they are silicon or something else to be determined. Anyway, I'm going to take a couple of images of these. Stacked images. What are these round balls here? That's going to be interesting when we look at that under the SEM. Now when we see this doing things in the reactor, we see these kind of explosions and then these things running around, what are the things running around, and it looks like they're running around in these channels, maybe, who knows. Try a little different lighting here, turn this off, this gives us some sort of different viewpoint. They're like little trees on a landscape, aren't they? Yes, yeah, so I think we can conclude that they are raised. Definitely raised. Okay. going to play with the polarization so this is with the polarization fully on gives a little bit more separation color wise So yeah, I really would wonder what this thing is here. Because it seems smooth-ish. It's not like the aluminium down here, and it's not whatever these fluffy clouds are. <laughs> these trees. So what is it to be determined? What is that? What is that there? What is that? definitely reflecting the light interestingly it's in the center of this area here what is that <laughs> right so we turn the lights off and I think we'll see that disappear there yeah so okay we have some kind of what what is that is that a sphere of some type definitely looks spherical Hmm.
Is it a hole? Is it a little bead of glass? Could it be something that came off the anode stem? Maybe. Curious. I think we'll take a couple of images. Is that the best focus we can get? Maybe it is. Yeah, okay. I'll take one there. It definitely looks like a little bead. <laughs> Put a bit of specular on there, probably go mental. Yeah, it's definitely like a little bead of something. Stands out. Is that, is that the only one? Is that something similar? I don't know. Throw a bit more light on the situation. Okay. What is that? I don't know. What is that? Anyway, we'll do some measurements. Um, so in this kind of central area, our blobs um, are, let's say, okay, d diameter. So diameter there of those two. It's about Forty uh, radius, so that's eighty, eighty-two. Um, obviously, there's a lot of smaller ones, but kind of the average is a, looks looks to be around about that. Right there, Got more funny on me. Yeah, about 82, kind of like the big blobs here. All kind of roughly the same size. Now this might be to do with the distance between the anode and the cathode. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case because, as we've already identified, further away from the centre they change their size. So... Um, the channel sizes um, is that a hexagon there is that a bit in the center I don't know are well, these explosions that occur on the aluminium and these are the detritus that gets thrown out to the side is that is that what's going on uh, let's take a couple of measurements here so the distance between those two, about 100 microns, 97, and between those two, 117, the big gap here isn't there, look at that, gives you an idea anyway. <clears throat> Have a quick look around. Uh, 
Yeah, definitely, definitely some things that are responding differently to the light. These things, they're not white and they're not specular in the same way that the base aluminium is. Then there are these ones, these kind of black blobs. What are they? Black blobs. There's our glass bead again. Several of these black blobs. What is that there? And these here. And this here. What is that? What is this? A couple of these red bits, whatever they are. Quite a bit of variation here. Again, one of these shiny blobs. If there is iron on here, I would think it would be in these features. Like that. Look at that. I would be not surprised to find that that is iron, that spherical feature there. Very different from the base here. Very different from the white fluffy bits. Yeah, a couple there, one there, one there, so I think I'll take a couple of shots of that. Yeah, look distinctly different to the rest of it. shots of those. That, for instance, looks very different. This blob here. I would argue 
that if you're going to find some iron, it will be one object looks like this. Okay, thank you very much for your time. I will see you in the next video.